Recently, scientists uncovered a 3,000-year-old hall in Brandenburg that may have belonged to King Hintz or one of his predecessors. The design is rare for a building in this period, which scientists think dates between the 10th and 9th century BC. The structure comes from the historically rich area of Brandenburg, which has consistently given us clues into life during this period. Near this site is the massive burial mound of Seddon, a royal grave, suggesting that this building may have been a meeting hall for the king and his subjects. Scientists believe that this hall, dubbed the Hall of Legends by history fans, belonged to a fabled King Hins who ruled Prignitz in the past. Local rumors from the past have said that King Hins was buried in a golden coffin to show how important he was to the region's people. The location of the king's burial mound, found in 1899, and the hall's proximity suggest this was a significant center of power for this king, potentially an ancient capital. The hall is most likely a longhouse of Nordic construction common of the time. Houses during this period were typically 8 meters, 25 feet wide. His structure surpasses 10 meters, 33 feet wide, making it a surprisingly colossal construction, the Nordic Bronze Age, which this settlement existed in, spanned from 1700 BC to 550 BC. Typically, longhouses constructed in Northern Europe at the time would have walls made of wattle and daub. However, this legendary hall seems to have a few peculiarities compared to other buildings. While most of the walls were built out of the typical wattle and daub, two showed a strange change in technology. They were constructed with piled up field stones from the Prignit soil. This suggests these methods may have been copied from builders who lived further south in Central Europe. The building was a towering structure, rising to a height of as much as seven meters, 23 feet. The height suggests that the building had multiple floors, possibly for housing grain or living quarters. Some visitors to the longhouse may have been invited to stay over if they were coming from afar. The luxury of the construction, coupled with the ritual sacrifice container, made it clear that this was not a communal living space, but a celebratory hall. The king's burial mound was uncovered during construction to build a road in 1899. It was only years afterward that scientists ascribed it to the illustrious King Hins. Discoveries like this allow us to explore a period of history we know absolutely nothing about. The few glimpses of the Nordic Bronze Age come from artifacts discovered at settlements. But we don't know how life was back then with any certainty. Can you imagine how it must have been to be living in a settlement like this, or even visiting it? It might have been the same as a small country farmer visiting London or Paris today, just as busy, breathtaking, and awe-inspiring. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.